Okay, so in this video we are going to learn about difference of sets. What do we mean by difference? Now, fundamentally, difference simply means one set asking to the another one, what elements do I have that you do not have? Well, we are just talking about the elements that are exclusive to a set. That's all what a difference means. How am I different than another set? That's what difference is about. So, how would a mathematician represent difference of sets? It is represented using the minus sign as we do it when we subtract two numbers. So, the way in which difference is defined as a minus b comprises of all the elements which are present in a but they are not present in b that is what it is okay and i would like to emphasize that a minus b implies what is present in a but not in b it is an ordered thing so if i were to say what does b minus a mean in that case the definition would be all those elements x such that those elements belong only to b and they do not belong to a so here it is the elements that are exclusive to b okay whereas in the first case when you do a minus b it is the elements that are exclusive to the set a now let us try to look at representing the operation of difference of sets using a venn diagram and this is our statement for a minus b so all the elements that are present in a but not in b so we have this universal set u over here we have the set a in the green uh, in the blue circle the set b in orange now what part is available only for a but not for b so in this case it is pretty intuitive that this portion of the set is exclusive to a so this is let's just say that this is a minus b okay now the other part which we would like to look at is b minus a what would be b minus a now in this case it would be those elements which are present in b but not in a and looking at this picture the venn diagram over here it has to be this part so as you can see both the sets are bragging about their exclusivity what elements are exclusive to each of them so this is b minus a and as you can look at it and which is very clear by looking at this picture a minus b is not equal to b minus a right the set that is formed by you know the sets the set formed by exclusive elements of a is not equal to the set that is formed by taking the elements that are present only in b which makes sense intuitively so let's look at an example so we have a set a which has one two three four five and six numbers numbered from one to six and the set b has two four six and eight now we are supposed to find out a minus b all this implies is those elements which are in a but not in b which means we exclude the common elements that are there in a and b so one is present only in a two is present in a and b both so we don't consider it 3 is present only in A, 4 is present in A and B both, so that is not considered, 5 is present only in A, 6 is present in both A and B, so it's not considered and that's pretty much it. So A minus B is a new set that has 1, 3 and 5. So the set A has these three elements which are exclusive to A and do not available and are not available in B. Now, if we were to look at B minus A, okay, so that gives us, let's look at the elements which you have in B. So, do we have 2 in B? 
yes but it is present in a as well four yes that is present in a as well six well six is also present in a then we come to eight so eight is not present in a and therefore eight is the only there's just one element and as you can clearly see that the difference a minus b the operation of difference a minus b is not equal to b minus a in this case so that was about difference of sets in the next video we will learn about complement of sets